guys, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm actually going to be doing something quite different. I'm going to be baking a cake inspired by The Sims 4. I've never done this before, so I am attempting to make a burger cake just like in the game. Let's get to it. Alright, so first up we're going to be making two butter cakes and one chocolate cake. So I'm just mixing up the batter of two butter cakes and then once it's nice and combined, I'm going to be pouring it into one normal 8 inch cupcake tin. You can probably go a little bit smaller than that because I end up cutting it down. And then the next cake tin we're going to be putting it in is actually going to be a half dome, which I've never used before. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think it's kind of cool and snazzy. Next up, we want to get the chocolate cake done, and the chocolate cake is actually going to be the inner burger patty. So, yeah, we just want to make sure that this is brown, so chocolate cake makes sense. <laughs> I suppose you could ice a butter cake, but I just want to keep it easy. I'm going to pour that into the pan when it's all nice and combined. Oh, it looks so yummy and moist. <laughs> and then once that's done, we can put each of the cakes into the oven and let them cook. Then we get to get to the fun part. Once the cakes are baked to perfection, we're going to set them aside to cool in their pans whilst we prepare the icing. I'm mixing up a simple butter icing. So I'm just gonna add some brown food coloring and then I'm gonna add some yellow food coloring and hopefully we can get the coloring of a bun. We're gonna mix that all up on a medium speed until it comes out to be a nice consistency that we can work with. And I think that's an okay brown color. I think that looks like a bun. What do you guys think? Whilst the cakes are now cooling down, I'm going to get started and make some of the fillings for the burger. In The Sims 4, the burger I think only has cheese and pickles. It's a really simple burger, so that's all we've got to do. I've got some baking paper here on my little table and I'm going to put some flour down as well because we're going to be using some coloured fondant. So I'm just going to throw that round. Here I've got a nice ball of ready to roll fondant and I don't want to work it too hard because I think it'll become too soft. But this is what we're going to make our cheese out of. So I'm just going to put some flour on my good old rolling pin. <sighs> I feel like such a woman right now. And I think what we'll just do is make triangles because in the game, you can only see the four corners of cheese going over the edge. So we'll just save using some, some of this. So let's cut some triangles. I've got my knife to start slicing. Now I'm thinking about the scale of the cake. I think we're gonna want fairly sizey triangles. I mean, we can always change them if we don't like them. That's the beauty of baking. Okay, so here's one piece of cheese. I've got it quite thin. There we go. And I'm even going to soften the edges just a little bit because I want it to be nice and floppy. One piece of cheese. I actually really feel like eating that cheese. <laughs> it looks like a legit cheese I want to eat. Go like that and that. I don't think you have to be too perfect with this because you know, we're gonna work it into the cake once we ice the cake. Pat, pat, pat. We've got another piece of cheesy McCheese cheese. <laughs> you can even, if you wanted to, you could cut little holes in the cheese to make it look like cheddar cheese. Um, but, I, ooh, this is sticking a bit. We need more flour. But I really want to uh, just stay true to the game and it's just like normal American looking cheese. I'm actually so scared to ice the cake because I've never iced a cake properly before. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, we've got our four pieces of cheese. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find ready to roll fondant in a lighter green. I suppose, come to think of it, I could have mixed like two fondants together. Oh my God, maybe if we mix yellow and green, we'll get lighter green. Guys, 
let's try it. Will this even work? Oh my God, I'm turning into the Hulk. <laughs> oh no. Guys, I just feel like this is not gonna happen. This just feels wrong. Oh, it's like a little willy. Oh wait, it's kind of working because we're working the fondant so much, it's becoming really difficult. I mean, we could make marbled pickles. That's kind of cool. Okay, now I've got the marbled look and feel. We don't need too many pickles. And we need smaller circles. I was gonna use the top of these sesame seeds to make the pickle circles, but I almost feel like the pickles are gonna be too big. Let's do a test. Is this too big for a pickle? <laughs> I don't know. I'm also going to use this straw, which is not what you think it is, I promise. But <laughs> it's the only one I have. And I'm going to bring in the sides of the pickle ever so slightly so it's not perfectly rounded because we want to give it that natural pickle shape. Because uh, the sides are kind of, could you describe it as serrated? I'm not sure. And there we go. We have our first marble pickle. There's a bit of flour on it, but we can, we can dust that off. Let's cut another pickle. This is really, really therapeutic. I'm actually really enjoying this. I like the marbling of the pickles. I think we've been very creative and original. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Never seen pickles that look so good in my life. We've got more pickles ready, you guys. Just a bit of flour, so it doesn't stick. Oh my god, these look so good. Oh my god, oh my god. God, so cute. Beautiful. Now comes the scary stuff. I've never used one of these bad boys in my life. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so scared. Let's just go for it. It could be the biggest cake fail ever, but you know what? We've got to be brave and give it a shot. So this is the base of our cake. This um, I've cut a little bit smaller, quite roughly I might add, but I think it's going to be okay, hopefully. So let's get our icing that we made before. And I don't know, just pray for me, boys and girls. Pray for me that this turntable thing is as easy as it looks. What do you do? Do you just go like this? The table's turning and the cake's not! I feel like this is not gonna, this is not gonna be good, you guys. Maybe let's just try it like that first. Okay, maybe with a knife. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. It's not so hard. The trick is to keep cleaning your knife, I think. So it's clean cut, like savage contouring, contouring the cake, get them curves. Okay, now in The Sims, the pickles and cheese is actually on top of the burger, which personally I think is so wrong, like who wants their toppings on top of the burger patty? So this chocolate cake is going to be the center of the burger. I didn't plan to ice it or anything though, so I kind of feel a bit bad. So it's a bit big, but the, the burger and the Sims sticks out a bit, so right, I think it'll look okay. Now let's put the cheese on. So I'm going to use some of our butter icing to actually place the cheese, so it doesn't, you know, fall out too much or well, it doesn't fall off the cake. You don't want to lose the cheese in your burger. Am I right? That would be an absolute crisis. I'm just gonna lay these over. I want plenty of it kind of melting over the edge. So I'm gonna stick it out quite far. Okay, let's go like this. Like that. Yeah, I think that's working. Now for our pickles. These can sit right on the edge. 
actually, we can halve our pickles, so we don't have to make any more. Have you guys noticed in this video that I always stick my tongue out when I'm concentrating? I just can't help it. My sister does it as well. We were just born this way, where we're just like, uh. My maths exam in my final year of school had dribble marks all over it. Like my exam was basically drenched because I was concentrating so hard. When I handed it in at the end, I was like, oh, good grief. <laughs> this is not attractive. All right, now we've got to get a nice big dollop on here because we're going to be placing the top of the burger on here, you guys. This is our dome cake. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should ice this before placing it on top because this could get real messy real fast. That looks cool! Oh my gosh, I think this might actually work. I can't wait! Oh my god, I really thought this video would be a fail. And I was like, well, at least I can post it and people can laugh at me even though I'll be crying on the inside. Okay, we have to be really neat around here. <laughs> neat with this knife is kind of hard. I think it needs a little flag on it even though that's not in the game, just for fun. And I just ripped out this page uh, out of my car insurance book. Oh no, I'm gonna mess, mess it up. <laughs> and there we go. Ta-da! It's our Sims 4 burger cake all done. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of us. What do you guys think? I know it's not like the best thing ever, but I think it was still a pretty good baking success. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you thought of this cooking video and if you'd like me to do any other recipes from The Sims 4. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up as well if you did enjoy it so I know to make lots more cooking content. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll speak to you soon.